Ahoy everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Peace of my dear Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And hello there in chat. Yeah, hello in chat, uh, this is Rayan. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Hope you'll enjoy the show. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 118. <laughs> <laughs> where oh we'll, yeah where we'll be showcasing a few games for about half an hour each shorter if well it's going to be shorter if it's going to be clear that we won't be continue we won't be picking up for streaming some other time so yeah the first game today is well apparently there is no game so let's be contrarian and click and see useless options this way the exits Let's go here instead. Uh, Misa and Ebim. Okay. Not sure if that's misspelling or such. So let's see. Exit the program immediately to maximize your chance of corrupting your autosave. Thank you. Uh, it's not like this non-game has a hint system, so there's no reason to click you know, on that icon below to get a clue. Also, let me not forget to actually start the timer. Who's doing all this knocking? There, there's someone in here. Just a minute, please. Ah, where's my speech? Oh, here it is. I almost forgot the title. Don't panic. Don't panic. Hello, user. This is a program speaking. I've got some bad news. Actually, there's no game. The financial crisis, the apocalypse, blah, 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 all of this. I hope you're not too disappointed. You can still watch TV, go outside, read a book. Yeah, there's no game. But just between you and me, avoid asking for a refund if you can. <laughs> You know, really? My creator has got to eat and feed his 12 kids and yep. his wife, who is sick. Well, when he finally finds one. Give me a sec there. I keep forgetting to put that on. Is that thing going to hold? It's holding. Well, it's been fun, but time to go now. My title! Stop! You will ruin it! Do you have any idea how much mashing time it took me to stick all those letters up there? I've got to put all that back up! Come on! <laughs> ah, the chain is stuck! Go ahead! Have fun! I give up! Here I... <laughs> Here, Here I me! The Brick Breaker! Game of the Year! What are you going to play after that? Pong? Snake? Candy Saga? <laughs> the legal department is making some big gestures over there. What you're doing is pointless. I'm not a game program. I'm just uh, an ordinary screensaver. That's it. Come on, let's yeah, all leave, okay? This I'm game ready. is a comedy puzzle game. <laughs> okay, just gotta get rid of these last few. And then I think we can move on. Come on. There. And it's always the last one that's the most annoying one in breakout games, huh? Which, well, they're old, but still good games. If well made. I'm crapping virtually. You've completely ruined my beautiful title. Well, if that's the way things are going to be, let's make something sun. <laughs> You? I might have gone a little overboard. Maybe. Can just leave the title alone this time. Is that a chromatic aberration or is this letter cheated? 
<laughs> okay, that will look like a jackhammer. Uh, let's see, Rayhan, if I may call you that. I love this game when I played it. I, I have seen I have seen someone play this before, but I've never seen it completely be played through. Yes, yeah, same. Probably because I, I did not have too much interest in this game. I can't close the program myself. You have to quit. Let's see, we have to screw with this rope somewhere, I think. You want to play your game? All right. We're going to play... Um, um, oh, Rochambeau. No, oh, we're going to have a great time. You know, it's the one with rock, paper, scissors. Rock breaks scissors. Paper covers rock. And scissors cut paper. Okay, I will start. Here is my choice. Now it's your turn to choose a card. I win. <laughs> what luck. Come on, let's play again. Really just a rock glued to <laughs> cards. Are my scissors. Are you serious? No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Luckily, I thought of everything to protect the game. The long game. No more game here. Finished. Here is game. To stop now, and you're going to leave. Happy to have played a fantastic brick breaker and an incredible game of Russian boot that was not at all wicked. I'll leave already instead of playing with that metal letter. Oh, hello. <laughs> Are you crazy? I I couldn't talk at all. It was like I was suffocating. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Look at what you've done. A brand new title. If you want to break things, go play Battle of Duty instead. <laughs> Let's see, Rayan, this needs a part two. Isn't this already a sequel of sorts? I think there's actually a sequel to this one. I think. I, I think there... Maybe the subtitle got added some other time. No, 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 no. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> Where did you find that key? It doesn't matter. The key to this door is on my side. Too bad. Oh. Let's see. Here. It's <laughs> private. This is backstage. You should not be here. You're going to catch cold. <laughs> Draw me a goat. The title. Draw me a cog. Correction. My ex title. <laughs> Boy, you're so stubborn. Can I use this anywhere here? You can leave now. Nope. Okay. <laughs> is broken and nothing works anymore. What's that blue thing under the door? I don't understand what you're doing. Neither do you, I bet. <laughs> Let's see. There's this old. There's that old trick about pushing something, uh, pushing a key out of a door and then catching it. Uh, am I dreaming, or are you trying to pick the lock with the mouse cursor? You just knocked the key that's on my side onto the floor. Let me put it back. There we go. Hmm. Uh, where's the key? No, don't do that, user. Don't open the door. Uh, you're as stubborn as a mule. <laughs> uh, come on. This will calm you down. <laughs> don't bother trying to open it. The lock is completely busted. Let's see. If the lock is busted, then it must be breakable in some way. Let's see. Nothing that can be gotten here, it seems. Let's see, can we mess with any of these again? Hmm. Let's see. No. Hmm. Oop. Oh, okay. We need a cog. 
Let's see. We need to get that loose. Hmm. It's just wait. Yep. Uns gotta unscrew it first. Things apart. But when it's time to leave, nobody's home. Not what I expected. It won't work. I'm telling you. See? It's useless. Like your neurons. Were you a hamster in a past life? <laughs> hmm. Ah, right. I see it's not connecting. Let's see. My system doesn't like that. Especially when it goes too fast. Oh. Repeat. Especially when it goes too fast. Stop navigating so fast. You're going to saturate my RAM. Sorry if the screen shake is annoying for anyone. See, I warned you. Yoink. <laughs> You're stealing from my memory too. You're exhausted. Oh, I don't like. There we go. <laughs> Damn it. There's nothing left I can use to help me. Too bad I have no choice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> now he's intentionally crashing themselves. Program loading. What bad luck. You were able to press the button. I'm very upset. No, the program is loading, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. You're good. You've beaten me. Say, it's taking a long time to load. You're talking to someone who grew, who was born in the 90s. I've, <laughs> I've needed to wait 10, 15 minutes for stuff to load. I can say to this. Oh, yeah. It definitely crashed. I feel bad for you. Hey, don't touch my paper. <laughs> I mean the progress bar. There you go. Much better like that. Okay, don't stop already. Hands up. Don't touch anything else. Except the quick button. You just never give up, do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> the program is going to close due to an unexpected use error. Program closing. Do. <laughs> Flying Squirrel OS. Really? Whoa. This is your conscience speaking. You need to restart your machine. Uh, this is not a fake operating system. I swear. And you should not open the prohibited folder for any reason. It's your conscience who's asking. Let's see. No contacts in Skype. Uh, enlarge your memory. Okay. Zin Whip. Uh, some music. A nutcracker. Yeah, I won't play. A <laughs> Elevator Love. Uh, let's see. Anything over here? Uh, water plus sun is plants. Oh, well, we can turn it. Hello. A ID card. Exclusive episode of Breaking Good on TV. And your conscience is telling you that you definitely shouldn't miss it. Go. Wait, it was empty? The private one? Nope. Do not shake. Oh, I see what we need to do. The corner is <laughs> loose. Okay. Um. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Seven to one excessive shaking. You <laughs> know, <laughs> shame found the naughty pictures. Really? <laughs> uh, Miss Paris. Uh, Miss Tokyo. Uh, okay, we have something extra. Uh, what is this? The restart button on your machine seems to be faulty. Your conscience advises you to hold your finger on it and never take it off. 
Let's see. Truth about Kennedy's death. Hello, due to a technical problem, the content of this document has unfortunately been lost. Sorry, the FBI PS, the shooter was a weather balloon. Uh, truth about Ross, read all the messages that reveal the real truth. Hello, take no problem. <laughs> oh, yes, it was a weather balloon, of course. Hello, Nine. Hell. You don't know me. And my voice isn't remotely similar to an existing program. <laughs> I just wanted to say that these pictures are scandalous. I'm going to contact the authorities right away regarding the classification of this game. Uh, Non-game. And they are not mine. It's for a friend. Right. <laughs> hmm. What can we use that for? We need a nut for the scroll. Uh, anything in the trash? Oop, there we go. Popped <laughs> it like a what? bottle cap. <laughs> Goes through the trash. Worst pinball ever. Uh, no balls available. Passwords. If I forget the administrative passwords, enter in this order. Spot the odd one out in my ID card. The, my favorite number. Miss Tokyo's private number. Okay. Game, I have to leave. Sorry, GG. Okay. The cat is hungry. Yum. Yum. But there's a free. Your conscience says you have a cat and it's hungry. There's a actual there. free. Okay, so three. Uh, what would the favorite number be? Uh, oh, <laughs> three, five, three. Three five three. Three five three. Okay, three five three three one eight. Three. Five three three one eight. To use your figure out my secret code. <laughs> but what is he going to do with the system clock? I hope he doesn't break anything. Okay, afternoon. Uh, so it's technically sunny now. Uh, oh, wait. Rain and sun. Future hazelnut tree. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we have rain. Uh, how do we do... How... Oh, we already have some, but how do we get the out there in there? You're a good friend of the environment. You're going to turn off your machine to save electricity and save <laughs> humanity. Hmm. There's something a bit more no needed. Uh, not me, retired program, likes trees, kites, and number 53, hates bugs and goats, favorite food, the CPU. Hmm. Mm. I may be unsure about streaming this. Like, I get why people love it. It's just... Yeah, I, I just never felt interested or found it that very funny. <laughs> Hmm. You should always listen to your conscience and your And also it was heavily covered on YouTube. <laughs> yep. Let's see though. Mm -hmm. Oh oh container. Like say not the bat not that. Uh what could we use as a container? Wait. Hmm. Let's get another one. Yeah. Okay, it's the, the game actively boos you for using hints. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I already figured that out. Hmm. Okay, something with the clock here. Or... Hmm. 
I can't take the sun or something. I can't activate anything whilst that is open. Hmm. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah, afternoon simple bar makes all the difference. We've already solved this. Hmm. What what else do you want, game or non-game? Hmm. Yeah, just have to listen. Hey, what is the container that we need? And there, there's the trash can over there, but I can't pull that off. Uh, beat, the, beat the score in the pinball game, then use the cup. Uh, okay, but there's no balls for it. Where was the game again? In the trash can. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. How... Hmm. It's there. <laughs> okay. Okay, we can move it. There we go. <laughs> Let's see, high score is 25. Just gotta keep going a bit more. How much time are we on still? Uh, about five minutes. Score is going to be bitten. Mm. Yep. That's better. Yep. <laughs> really? And again, we can just do this. That's the cheater and the one who started messing with things first. There we go. Okay. And here we have an hazelnut tree. Hmm. Okay. Uh, how do you get stuff out of a tree? You shake it. Or apparently not. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's got to shake it in a different way. Here you go. Okay, it needs to be broken first. Well, there. <laughs> Give me that. Luckily, the key is too big. Hmm. There's no way to shrink it. <laughs> You were saying no. I forbid you to open that folder. You've crossed the line. Don't launch the program. This wasn't planned. You were supposed to leave ages ago. Don't do that. Yep, got it. No. What have you done, user? You made in India fake program from within a fake operating system. That's impossible. What's going to happen? No, I don't like this at all. <laughs> well, two negatives make a positive, in math at least. Let's just <laughs> do the same in programming. Hello. <laughs> Namaste, user. This is the program speaking. I have some bad news. Actually, this is not a game. I hope you are not too disappointed. You can still watch a Bollywood film, take a walk around the Ganges, learn to dance. <laughs> Such a cliche. Who is it? What are you doing in my game? I mean my non-game. What? This is my game. I mean my non-game. What are you talking about? Go away. You should not be here. But, user, do something, damn it. You have a funny accent. Are you Russian? Russian? Do I roll the R like that, sir? Of course not. Overreaction. Typically Russian. I am not Russian! Oh, that got a reaction. You woke him up. Oh no. User, you need to quit the program. 
First, I'm begging you. Mr. Mr. Glitch. Glitch. Hi, guys. Don't touch him, user. He's highly unstable. The only one who's unstable around here is you, game. Mr. Glitch, I have nothing to do with this. Of course you do. You shouldn't even be here. Shouldn't be here? But this is what I live. Don't fight over me, girls. There will be enough crashes to go around. Okay, let's just all chill out. Maybe he will go away all by himself. Yeah, right. In your dreams. Go on. Get out of here. You get out of here. I told you not to touch him, user. Oh, but we've been making progress every time by doing the exact opposite, so we are going to <laughs> stay a contrarian. There's... There's the cursor. <laughs> okay, the glitching effect makes it a bit difficult to spot the cursor at times. There. Yep, yep. Come on, there. Yep. Hello, comrade user. Bad news. Game forbidden. I hope you are not too disappointed. Uh, not again. How do we get out of here? You are a spy? Okay, this one truly has a Russian. <laughs> ah, you see? But you're still here? It seems to be so. Show me you are. Show me papers. Only if you say please. <laughs> <laughs> what? There you are. I was looking for you. Stop following us. We are all going to die. Shoot the glitch! With what? A debugging gun? We are all going to die! Don't be so dramatic. It's just going to sting a little bit. <laughs> okay, and we've hit our 25 minutes, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not big on streaming this for... Well, I don't sure it's really... story as we used to. True, but... Yeah, it is one of those comedy games, so it, it often just keeps talking itself to make sure you're not getting bored or such. Yeah. Also, actually, that, that problem, I'm actually bored from this uh, game already. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I guess we can set it as a no then, but th this is this is another example of this is a good game, but maybe not... Shut up, you. <laughs> maybe not really our style. Yeah, uh, okay. so many people have streamed it and played it. Yep, cloud error with the previous one. There we go. And yeah, Mike Bithell, that's a name we've been seeing quite a bit recently. Because his yeah. games keep showing up in Showcase. <laughs> uh, I like, feel like I heard of this game. Yeah, this is the one where, well, the whole series started. Okay, because we have... Thomas was alone, then there is, I believe it was called Volume, that's the uh, isometric stealth game. Uh, both of the circular games, and as well as <laughs> the Pokemon. Solitaire Conspiracy. Oh, solitaire, yes. Uh, speaking of, I was correct with my guess that the guy is Solitaire. Spoiler. Uh... So it wasn't obvious from the start. Okay, new game. And timer. The program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding name strings to the AIs as a joke. Thomas 8023612 wasn't special. It was just an AI in the right time at the right place. Thomas was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. Oh, well, I ha may have seen a bit of this. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. A very British narrator. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. 
What if there was some kind of inverted ball? Some way to, what's the word? Jump. Yes. Okay, I've not seen this then. I guess it is to recognize the voice actor. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying buttons that would be normally for jumping, but they're not having a reaction. Press space or A button there. Yeah, but I'm pressing the space button, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, let's see, what if I connect the controller? Okay, come on. It is going to take... Yep, it is going... There we go. It worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Okay, not sure why the space bar doesn't work. Achievement for one. <laughs> Find the first pickup in spawn. <laughs> A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Almost like he was being trained. Good long distance. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Yep, on purpose. <laughs> this all seemed a little dangerous. The yep. world was not to be trusted. It was unstable and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Okay, Thomas ledges. whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Getting trickier by the moment, by the, yeah, by the second. Paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No, too obvious. Hello. Let's see, pass through respawn points. Up. Toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. <laughs> yeah, he certainly lacks the ability to swim. No hands or legs or such. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note taking could combat that. Let's see, this one's more abstract with how we can go further. Man, the developers behind this game are pretty smart. And, well, this game was just the start of that. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. Hey. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Let's keep going forward. Uh, I thought it would be, uh, feel like it's going to be one of those games I'd be feeling it might be. Begin array. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told the idiot it would happen, overlapping scripts. More than one AI was bound to be spawned into an environment at some point. Turns out I missed a point. That little error changed everything. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? <laughs> Case okay. had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually, not technically graceful, probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, 
fine. It was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. A game with uh, more narr <laughs> too much narration for you to uh, ow. to be able to get in your own two cents. More of the uh, deprivation triggers. <laughs> oh. The yeah, I think I recall hearing about this game in context of being very depressing. Hmm. Not too sure on that myself. Yeah. I, I don't mean to remember, so I feel like I heard you talk about this on this side. And something in my brain tell me is a big no right away for some reason. Only Chris could get to it. Which, of course, made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Mm. Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch-pressing thing entirely worthwhile. <laughs> Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that mm. things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? No. To ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. <laughs> Let's see. Chris there, and Thomas over this way. I hope the music isn't too loud. It is a bit on my end, I think. Stared at Thomas with pure hatred. Not loud? He seems so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. I just, I just don't like the music. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. <laughs> he hoped the next portal would split them up, if only for a few levels. One goes down. Okay. Yeah, it, it's trying to be calming, but at the same time, it is a bit sharp for calming. Yeah, like, there's some good instrument I feel like I like. I just don't know its name. But the rest, I just... I don't know, I feel like they, they should fit or doesn't play well together. Actually, yeah, if it doesn't feel... How do feel... Annoying? Oh, John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. Now there's a third character. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. <laughs> Where did they come from, anyway? There and there. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Okay, he can jump even higher. Muscles to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. 
What mirror? <laughs> it is too high for him. There and there. Okay, now what's down here? Yep. Hello. Find the first achievement pickup in array. Okay, now the short one. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so I won't really lean in on this one. Okay. And the reasonings for okay. that would be? Well, one is the music. Other one is... I don't feel too entertained, and I... But I have a gut feeling... It's gonna be very depressing or something. But so far it seemed to play out good at all. But something tells me there's something... And this one is gonna be those, one of those mm. games. Okay. And there, and there. Okay, and now in order. No, we said it. It's not a bad game. I just... I just don't feel it. Okay. Mm. So I do feel like I would probably go insane if we were to play this for two hours. <laughs> Get the music. John was happy yeah. to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Thanks, you! Kazoon tights. Thank you. Oh, brother, at least this one did not feel like I was sneezing out my lungs or something. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Can't make that jump. Okay. There. Actually. There we go. And there. Okay. so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. There we go, still on. Okay, uh, make a bit of space. immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. <laughs> so he's British. <laughs> um, what, you, what the heck that makes the British for that or? No, the orange one is British because he's constantly complaining. <laughs> I feel I want to disagree with you on that. <laughs> That's why it's called a joke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Let's give it a few more levels and then we'll call it on this one then. Okay, now one in midair. This was interesting. A floating target. This uh, would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, 
but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Um, okay. I can't switch. What? Okay, now the controller is... Okay, weird. Seems we're having some controller anomalies, because now I can move with the keyboard, but not with the controller. Oh well. That's a good point as I need to quit then. Yeah, like, again, not that bad game, just... At least on my end, it's a no, I just... It... I just don't like it. And okay. I have a bad feeling about it. <laughs> and we'll move on to the next game. By THQ Nordic. <laughs> Same folks as the, the Darksiders games. Okay, for a moment I for a moment I thought the L was just a, a divider. <laughs> Iron Ore would be an interesting name for a company. I must talk to for popcorn. <laughs> Before the light of the gods entered the world. There was only darkness ruled by titans. After an epic war, Zeus seized the heavens and exiled the titans, seeking to imprison them for all eternity. The lands were cleansed and mortals flourished, but arrogance precedes many a fall, and even a god's prison may be breached. Candy Graham. Someone's going to be busy about that. Your gods will not save you. <laughs> yeah, Titan Quest. I've heard quite good about this game, though I've never actually played it myself. Other than, well, seeing if it will run with uh, OBS. So, yeah, I... yeah, let's see. Mod Workshop, play Custom Quests, Ragnarok yeah. Expansion, Atlantis Expansion, Eternal Ambers Expansion. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I've been half curious to get on my Switch, but... Like, 12 gig is not much. Problem is, if I want it downloaded fastest, I will need to unplug it from its uh, charger put it in the hallway and go every seven minutes to make sure it doesn't go into sleep mode. <laughs> and that is why and I those... velcroed the power bank to the back of my switch. <laughs> I have a power bank. Probably is the power bank is connected to the TV. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Hiliana, you read a bit of a mm -hmm. Roman name? Well, it is Greek and slash Roman. Okay. Let's see, single player. No, not create new. Uh, now there, start. Yeah, I've heard plenty of good about this game, but I've never really played it. One day, the sun will dim and spread a shadow over the earth. Temples which have stood forever will be destroyed. The heavens will vanish, and the gods will fall upon the earth. One day the weak will have power over the strong, 
the poets will stop singing and instead take up the sword. It is in these darkest times that the strongest of heroes are born. Uh, hardship does tend to breed champions. Let's see. A typical Diablo style. Point and click. You're the soldier. If you've come looking for rest and peace, you won't find it here, Delos. Our village has recently been beset by satyrs and other vile beasts. The help of your fighting arm would be greatly appreciated. Our farmers cannot get to their fields, and our supplies are running low. Please, go down the road toward the village and help where you can. Okay. Ooh. Game looks pretty nice. They must have been sent by the gods. Please, in the field here, they're going to kill my horse. Ooh. Boars, okay. Fragdolls. <laughs> Okay, ragdolls can always be funny in the right circumstances with just getting launched around. Okay. You saved my horse. Thank you. But I'm not the only one in trouble. Down the road there, that's my village, Kilos. We've got monsters at the gates, in the fields. They're everywhere. Okay, yep. Typical isometric... Uh, Dungeon crawler style with point and click and attack with click. Uh, uh, this one game feel like could be fun to stream. My only concern is um the length. Yeah. I am Aeson, guard captain for this small village. We are holding up, but what's the use? If the monsters lay waste to our farms, we're lost all the same. It's that cursed shaman. Diomedes is tearing his hair out over it. Oh. Also, yeah, little trick that I've learned is with these types. If you hold down shift and click, you'll stand in place and keep attacking. That's it's better than trying to click on each and every single separate enemy. Let's see, rebirth fountains activate the first time you approach them. When you load a saved game or when you die, you will appear at the lost rebirth fountain. Okay. The waters within these fountains are blessed by the gods. They say when you touch the water, your soul drinks from it. Should you suffer the dark fate in battle, your body will return to the fountain and you may live to fight again. Okay. Hello, stranger. I'm Diomedes, the leader of this small village. Do you mean to say that you fought your way here? If that's true, then please, I beg of you. We need your help. Monsters led by a powerful satyr shaman appeared a few days ago and have driven us from our farms. We can hardly defend the village gates and have no one who can stop them from destroying our crops. Our farmland lies on the other side of the river, just over this bridge. The shaman was last seen beyond the farms at the edge of the Helos woods. Please, rid us of this terrible sorcerer. We will pay you what we can. Okay, I, I do like the voice acting. It's not overacted or underacted. Hello. It's just right. Inspire me to speak of the mightiest hero ever known. Son of Zeus, a god, and of a mortal woman. A man named Heracles. Hated by the goddess Hera and beloved of Zeus. Mighty-handed Heracles battled monsters great and fearsome. The Nemean lion he slew, and the Hydra many-headed, the Erymanthian boar, and thunderous giants. Twelve tasks of legend did he perform. Heracles rose above the realm of mortals. Once, it is told he took the place of Atlas, who holds the world aloft. Heracles, yes, Heracles bore the world itself upon his shoulders. And now, now, where is a hero half as great as he? Yeah, because ascending to godhood also has the uh, side effect of 
well, basically permanently retiring you from the mortal realm, so someone else needs to go fit in. You're going out there, don't go unprepared. Let's see. Why don't we get uh, someone visit the mortal realm quite often? <laughs> True. Uh, let's see. Slow. I mainly actually do. Average. Let's go with a copper axe. It's better than our little dagger here. So that. Knife. And yeah, <laughs> as in typical with these sorts of games, of which there is already one other in the <laughs> in the list of games prepped, we can get a lot of. There's a lot of stuff that you can get if you can afford it, which we can't. And of course, as always, potions. Okay, and buy back just in case. Again, I hope. Uh, okay, you must be storage. And what's over this way? Yeah, this is to the fights. Okay. And yeah, <laughs> a lot of fighting in this game is very obviously going to be just running up and beating on something until we get skills and such, but then it will basically just be mostly the same. Oop. Only with some skills added in, and we are losing health quite a fast. So we'll probably yeah. want to get some armor. Hmm. I think that's the one with this game. This could probably work as a YouTube series, where we cut out the grindy, boring parts. Yeah. Like, the game has a story, just... Oops. It's... It's uh, not as story heavy like uh, Diablo One. Uh, like Diablo One and Two are probably a good example. Like they have a story, but not as heavy on the story. Let's see. Probably what happens if like we this guy here? Much, but there was more story in that. Let's see. Have we gotten? No, we have not gotten a level. It seems. Uh, current experience. Uh, quest window. Map. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's go check the other way. Hmm. I get the feeling that this game would pair really well together with uh, Age of Mythology. Monsters all over the village. They're burning and killing everything in their path. I've never seen such things in my life. The chaos and destruction. It. It is all too much for me to handle. Speaking of right, ancient mythology... Uh, is that dog alright? It is very excited. Or very stressed. Uh, let's see. Wasn't there... I think... I'm, I'm doing a bit of a Google here at the moment. But I think there was something about... Uh, a sequel, or no, it wasn't a sequel. It's a, a remake of Age of Mythology that's in the work, I believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I told you about that one Microsoft years ago. Announced. <laughs> okay. These no. shrines are ancient, as old as humankind, some say. They say Prometheus, who brought us fire, built these too. And in ancient times, men traveled by them. I was just saying, it was quite a long ago they mentioned uh, that were to in the do a remake and yeah, it, it, actually it was around uh, it was around 2020 they mentioned it I think hmm. and da, 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 I da. I'm hoping they to say something about it by now. Let's see. According to just a quick Google, it is set to release either in this year or early next year. So, yeah, I might hold off on actually streaming <laughs> Age of Mythology then for the remaster. And that's very obviously a shrine location. Leave if you must, Traveler, but we need your help. The farms are on the other side of the village, across the bridge. Okay. So we could just move idea. on. I just pray it won't be a mess. Uh, yeah. Though it, it can't be any worse than uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged. Don't Hello? give them a reason to go hold my beer. 
Okay, th this is nice. We can actually find the scene from the intro, though it seems like some time has passed since then. Or they have some very, very, very active vultures here to pick a corpse clean like that. Okay, what's this button over here? Oh, okay. It's basically our go home. Oh, another merchant? Yeah, it's the storage. I can ease your load. Oh. Oh, Yo, can I tell you where to store it? Okay, that's an upgrade compared to others. They just give you a chest. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. This helps with finding stuff. Let's see. Okay, we can't dual wield at the moment. There's likely a skill that we can get for getting it. Wait. Are you telling me this thing? You mean to me this game doesn't allow you to hold an axe and a torch? Not at the moment, at least. The way the image looks, it does make me think that dual wielding will be a thing. Yeah, but normally holding a torch, you know, for you count as dual we. What's the point with a torch if you can't hold it offhand? Let's see. Character will suffer an experience penalty and respawn at the last rebirth fountain to activate it. Will increase as your character reaches higher levels. Okay, so yeah. Try not to die. Uh, in some of these games, it's kind of hard to die to begin with, but still... True. Yeah, that can hmm. become extremely punishing. And, and I would like to almost kill uh, anyone's... Uh, as I, I will say this. I will not play people to fall almost quit in this game due to that there is so much that, they are, that it's impossible to level up. Yeah. So I'm guessing... That's... I, do, I, I forgot to look at the experience bar when we clicked on our grave there, but I'm guessing we got some of our experience back, perhaps? Yeah, no, if you want easy difficulty, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think this is more of a one of the things that notice when you're almost finished with the game. And of course, when you enter harder difficulty. Potions. The health and energy. Click on the image on the quick bar, press the corresponding hotkey, which is 9 and 0 at the moment. I'm likely assigned to the last two slots. Okay. Can assign them by others. Let's see. Oh, oh hello. We already have something. Pet attack, taunt. Okay. Pet attack. We don't have one of those yet, though. Okay. I saw something about multiplayer as well earlier. So I'm... I'm guessing you can play through the story, well, <laughs> with a party. Uh, you can. You can hmm. even play it split screen on a Switch. Okay, that I didn't know. A lot of quality of life things with this game that I did not expect. Yeah, a lot of them are <laughs> on the remastered. However, at least for the Twitch, there is one minor problem. And that is? The minimap. And I even see here, look how small it is. Yeah, tiny. Yeah, they mentioned that on a, when you don't, you play it not docked. When you play it, yeah, not docked, you just play the switch in your hand. How damn tiny that, that minimap is. Yeah, tablet mode. Yeah. Take care of the ranger. Because they are a threat uh, at any range. I will say this, even now, I. Uh, do, do, I am watching for a uh, shrunken screen, sort of, but... Ain't that minimap unusually small? Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. okay, one annoyance that can be with games like this is that the game can be a bit picky about, well, actually hitting a target. Yeah, I think it's also one of the things for... I think the, all the brothers have a problem is... And it can well be a little bit iffy with the combat. It seems that the, the potion is more about regeneration than just outright healing. That's that's nice. Yeah, mm. yeah. dude, it does mean you need to be careful of when you use it. Like, use it mm. before it's too late, basically. Yeah. Make it don't wait till you're almost dead. But it also does mean... It, 
they helos. That also means that uh, there's no there's less risk of overhealing in the middle of combat. Let me get any of these. Indeed. Okay, so I, I can definitely see some points uh, leading to where uh, why this game is considered pretty good. Oh yeah, Prim primitive chest. It's just a <laughs> it's just a short log that's been hollowed out. Okay. No Okay. Uh, we have uh, this. Will this allow us to teleport back to here? Uh, hmm. Wait, wait, wait. No. Before you use it, look to see if you have anything you can equip then pick up. Captain. Uh, nope, nothing that can be equipped. Okay, we did get to level two. Uh, let's see. Some of these have requirements. Level three, level three. Um, Oak Widow Staff. 53 Intelligence. Level three. Um, Captain, tell me. Why so many torches? Because we can sell them. They are a hot item, you could say. Oh, no, you... <laughs> Horrible pun! <laughs> Must be punished! Let's see. Hmm. One thing I would like with a game like with games like these is you know, more of a DPS meter, instead of just saying the range of damage and speeds. So the fact that these torches deal extra fire damage, it hmm, let's see, that would make it more 8 to 19 damage, which is more than our copper hand axe, but it is slower. Hmm. Now, so how is this one? 3 to 11? Yep. Hey, Pizza, how are you doing today? You're doing pretty Hello, decent pizza. myself. Let's see. Let's just sell those. We are only getting basically scraps for all of this, but still, it is still money. You have saved farms and our livelihoods for this we thank you <laughs> welcome to titan quest anniversary edition for shaman astounding your victory today is great but i fear there will be more monsters tomorrow at least there is enough of the harvest left to feed us all take this gold i know it's not much please seek out the spartan general leonidas petition him on my behalf <laughs> Ask him to send a few of his warriors to protect us, and quickly, before we are again overwhelmed. Okay. Oop. Got a thousand gold from that. Are you got more? You have saved nope. Our farms. Anything else? <laughs> Let's see. Energy regeneration. Armor. That's only one extra. Ten armor and regen. Ten armor and energy regen. Okay. Uh, attributes and skill points. Skill points? That's... Let's see. We have two attribute points. Where would we find the skill points? Uh, but there is one, two, and three. Now, I think that's Over more for... Oh, okay. I thought it was maybe more for equipment. Oh, uh, uh, <clears throat> oh it's no, over it's here. That... We can switch between. Yeah. Uh, okay. I know there is one that you can learn uh, spells and such. Uh, but I don't know of which pot. Oh, it, 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 I think it's. Oh, wait, that's a shortcut for other things. Uh, Here's the skills window. There you go. Let's see. Skill mastery. Choose carefully once you've allocated skill points in your mastery. You will not be. Oop. Yep. Fuck off. Uh, that was a first. Uh, Okay, now we have to restore the position of this because of freaking pop-up. Uh, uh, where is it shown? It's not... Is it behind the game and the game is just not showing? Uh, let me... Okay, it's not showing... Where, uh, is it behind the... Going to need to go behind the uh, preview window for a bit? Yep, there it is. Okay. Um... Ta -ta 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 -ta. Titan quests there. Uh, of course, it's been deselected from that. So it, I need to put it in again. So there, favorite. No size change. Then set window size. And I just got to put in the location and size. 
120, 1080. Okay. There we go. Uh, really? Okay. Just as I click it away as well. Come on. Okay, there we go. Keeping the thing up now. And this one all back to up top. Let's see. Storm. Uh, hmm? I don't think it's for my end. Yep. Yeah. And it, it reset again. Okay. Why is that happening? Come on. Third time the charm. Now, are you going to stick here the moment I click away? No. For s okay. That's weird. Why is it? It. Okay. Did it break it? I think it broke borderless wind, uh, borderless gaming's uh, effect on it. So, well, I guess that's a, <laughs> I guess that's one way to end this one uh, short. <clears throat> yeah, good game. Maybe, maybe we can actually do this as a multiplayer thing, because <laughs> that would honestly be a lot more fun. Just running around with everyone beating on everything, huh? Possibility. Okay. Uh, it's maybe money for other things, but maybe. Plus, this game is decently old by now, I presume, so it should be pretty cheap. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> should be. Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, emphasis on should. It was pricey on Switch. <laughs> Yeah, but that's on Switch. On Steam and such, it could probably be a lot more on sale more often. Uh, let's see, before we start the next game, Pizza, I don't remember if I uh, did tell you, since I have the memory of a sloth, but I got the surgery for my eye done a, a few days back, around Friday, and about two days ago, I got the plaster removed, so eye is just healing. I'm going to take about 20 medicines to keep it healing. Okay, you didn't tell that. <laughs> good to hear it went well, Pizza. Yeah, good to hear it went well. You know, you, I know you've done an operation before, but you don't know you had done a second one. Yeah. Mostly you've been talking about uh, <clears throat> needing to keep your blood sugar low for it. Uh, uh, shouldn't this be moving up? Give me did a second. It, did it glitch out uh, the borderless ga gaming altogether? There, just manual fix it. And, okay, it's not actually in here. Okay, I just forgot to put it in there because it refused to stay up. But yeah, this game is Tokyo 42. So, uh, let me also reset this, the timer before I forget that. That's it, pizza. For now, I've just gotten the left eye done. The right eye will take a few months since I have a few events coming up. Okay. Uh, okay, I'd forgotten that this game had, had multiplayer. Uh, yeah, let's get started. New game. This is Smashishi's Castles, Takashi's Castles, you know, Castle. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> I remember seeing some of that show. <laughs> People have said that no one has been ever, ever, met, ever been able to win that, but there have been plenty of uh, winners. Even enough that they had an entire series at one point with just winners of previous games, I think, or an entire episode or two. Yeah, <clears throat> I feel like most of it was we saw in the West where they dubbed the versions, where they added more... I don't know how much of the dubs were actually true to what the commentators said and all that. But there was <clears throat> a lot of things I feel like they likely did not say. Okay, relaxing day in, in our apartments. So when it comes to mechanical reclaiming, there's just one brand worth naming, Kobe Beef. Breaking news, murder in Tokyo. The first murder of 2042 has been confirmed by police. Thanks to the Tokyo Police Department's tireless detective work, the, culprit, the, the, the culprit has been identified. In a slight interruption to our schedule, we now go live to the suspect's apartment, where enforcers are converging as I speak. Uh... Um... Those tuning in for uh, Toxic Runoff, the show that asks, can you outrun your own corrosive effluent? Please be assured 
just as will be swift. Uh, what? Uh, what? Tycho, you've got to get out of there now. Forget the shower. Meet me outside. I'm on my way. Yo, uh, yeah, better get running. <laughs> yeah, even even pizza's running. I guess the, the colors doesn't agree with their healing eyes, which I do not blame mm -hmm. them. Jump. Uh, there we go. The, the jump in. And Is off it, we does go. that look like a hand vacuum? Fuck, that was close. You go, okay? Good. You're wanted for murder. Oh, yeah, I've got to get it all out. My fault. I should have slowed down for that. <laughs> My guess? A Tokyo assassin needed a scapegoat, and that's you, kid. I knew someone, Sasha, so gave me a login for a nearby terminal. So if yeah, I should use it if I was in real trouble. I'll take you there and you can check it out. Let's see, pizza. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. If this game is flashy, I might have to leave. Hmm, yes, with those kinds of colors popping up like that, I have to go. Uh, be back another stream, but bye for now. Okay, see you next time, pizza. I don't think it actually gets too flashy. It's more like that there's just a lot of colors in this game. Okay, we yeah, can move we around our pizza. view. Okay, go and type in the codes. Let's see, that's the save point. Okay, might as well put a bit of a run behind it. Let's see, right button to, to use binoculars, and you're actually pulling out a pair of binoculars from the looks of it. And where you're not looking actually does get a bit grainy, or it, it did before. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a toggle. Okay. I thought it was a press thing. Let's see. It's an, it, it's an assassin's portal. Perfect. This gives an option that isn't jail. Here's the plan. You become an assassin. I'll be your handler. We'll work our way up the food chain until we find someone who can explain why you're Tokyo's most wanted. Just think about it. Everyone's on nanomads these days. People don't die anymore. Yeah, they've got some sort of nanites, nanite, nanite medication that yeah, will just revive you if you're killed in this world. Generally speaking, the guy you're supposed to have killed must have been off his meds. There's plenty of contract work now that putting a bullet in someone is less than uh, less of a philosophical no-go. So there's really just one question. You in? I knew you'd be down. This is exciting. For me. <laughs> You'll be in constant danger, but let's not dwell on that. We'll start with something simple. There's a pistol nearby. Grab it. Your target is Seamus Brown, a mini-golf tycoon. He's knocking his orbs around now, all zen-like. You'll have to drop on him. So yeah, this game is basically what if uh, Mirror's Edge was an isometric assassination game, or, or an isometric version of Hitman. Oh dear. <laughs> And I forgot to start the timer, so I'll start it now. Just give it a little bit more then. There's our targets. Okay. See, so tap to select your weapon, aim and fire. Okay. Pistol, infinite ammo. Okay. There we go. Now we need to go collect our reward, and well, people are not going to be too happy about just having witnessed the murder and all. Okay, so in general, I remember this game being pretty interesting, but it can drag on towards the end of it. 
Nice. I'll tell you, I tell you to cap a golf tycoon and you go and put a hole in one. No? Nothing? Okay. <laughs> okay, that, I, yeah, I would rate that a pretty decent, decent pun. His next hit, hit requires something but range. The merchant on top of the Centauri ten, uh, tenements has a sniper rifle in stock. Uh, get up there, you know, getting up there should be slightly tricky. Care to try the parkour du jour? Once you've bought the sniper rifle, head to the vantage point and show me some sharp shooting. Okay. Oh, let's get up there. Uh, let's see. How are we actually ready. going to get there? I'm a little bit unsure, basically, but it's going to be one of those games I feel like I'm unsure about almost every game. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. So, the matter of the I've started to more realize more and more that. We haven't had that many games we've been saying yes of late. Mostly yeah. maybe yes and maybes and many no's. Yeah, that, that's sadly something you, that's going to happen when we're just, well, <laughs> picking up, uh, trying out a lot of the guns. Cash machine to save. Won't work when we're Do being chased. Do you mean a lot of games? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We won't be able to jump from here to the left, but we can go here and there and get there anyways. Okay, now where can we go? F oh, we can go over there. Now the coffee machine. Right. Well, I did say that it is like Mirror's Edge if it were an isometric hitman. I never played or seen anyone play Mirror's Edge. I only know Mirror's Edge from the trailers. Well, all the more reason to go play that game at some point, though still iffy about the sequel, since I wouldn't really consider it as good as the first one. You had a sequel? Yep, actually more a prequel. <clears throat> okay. Now we gotta get to the vantage point. So, save point and just get on over here. <laughs> and yeah, those little points that we've been finding all over the place, those are teleport points. So let's just use that to get around quickly. Get into the position. Okay, that one hasn't been unlocked yet. I'm guessing, yeah, the square around it prob is probably meaning that it's either locked or, yep, not. Not used yet. Okay. Oh yeah, they, they are far away from everything else. Eliminate Martha. Okay, this is probably going to piss off both Kent and Clark and, and Bruce. So just gotta find a there. And there we go. Okay, another target. But this one's locked in. No, blocked in. Okay, grenades. Aim and throw a grenade. There. Okay, that did not work. Need to aim higher. Okay, I was half expecting to get blown up myself there. Oh, okay, there we go. Just hold it to put an arc to it. And we're going to ruin his barbecue. I wanted to make you to accidentally blow yourself up. I was half expecting that, yeah. Can we... There's that coin there. What happens if we throw a grenade at that? Because I don't see how we can get there. Hmm. Oh, core? Like a lunatic? And... I know there's supposed to be futuristic houses, but this... There's a reason this futuristic design did not take off. Yeah. <laughs> They're ugly as heck, and they didn't really help, help with anything. If anything, I feel like they just made more problems. Popcorn and loitering weasels, congrats. Hey, we're moving up in the world already. A friend tells me they've sent you a gift. Message says you'll find it where you wasted the minigolf guy. Our client must appreciate a job well done. Okay. Might as well switch back to a pistol. 
Okay, perspective. Spinning your camera to, uh, spin your, uh, to find another view can make fights much easier. Well, that's not foreboding at all. And there's actually stuff here. And, well, enemies. There you go. Okay, normally we would die in one hit about, but since it's on easy mode, I do think we have a one-shot shield. Don't look at me, I don't know if you slew one mini golf. I didn't know if you slew, you, you teed them all off. Uh, new Baba. Hello, I've been observing you. Motivated, uh, whatever that means. Yes, you should be, you, know, you could be something special. Did I accidentally click them away? Uh, that, that was new Baba. Who? If the rumors are true, she is the nexus of information about contract work in Tokyo. What did she say? Okay, if we're going to find a way to clear your name, she's your tickets. Pick up a contract at the terminal and earn yourself a reputation. Why well, I feel like it, you've all failed to clear your name. Like, sure, I'm going to clear the name of one crime, but you're still being guilty of a lot of new crimes because of it. Yeah, though these would be a lot more like assault since you're not actively managing to permanently kill them, unlike the person we've been <laughs> framed for who, well, is permanently off the list. Uh, Let's see. My point so to still stand for is so still doing something illegal. Let's see. Grenades, the targets. Okay. And I'm pretty sure assault is still a serious crime. Yep. Running is also a toggle, it seems. So no reason not to be constantly running in the hello there. Let's see, losing a tail. Press control to skin and change your skin randomly. If your enemies don't see you changing skin, they won't know who you are and you can escape. Guards will suspect anyone at your last known position, so if you can't escape the search circle without them seeing you, your disguise will fail. Use energy pads to top up your juice. Energy pads are like those there. And yeah, we can just randomly change our appearance completely because, well, our <laughs> our bodies are completely saturated with uh, nanites and such. Let's see, and try and be a bit sneaky about this. Hello there. Okay. Now, just take aim and get away. There we go. <laughs> All right. And they already lost interest. <laughs> we got 6,000 yen and 100 reputation. Okay, with, well, with money we can of course buy weapons and likely upgrades. Kite games. The client wants to stir up some trouble, go annoy some punks and lead them somewhere they won't be made welcome. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hi to some punks. Okay, over there. Aggro. Aggro the punks by trespassing in their area or scaring them with a weapon. Lead them to the this garden and see what happens. <laughs> okay. And yeah, th these uh, things signify territory. So... Okay, where's the nudist garden? Oh, enemy territory. Okay. It's the complete opposite way that I'm going. I do like that if you're going one direction and you're holding a button and you you're changing you you change your perspective that you still keep going in that direction. <laughs> Come on, keep up. Apparently the uh, the nudists are packing, <laughs> and not in a physical uh, manner. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can see, they just pop right back up. <laughs> what the heck? 
That's it. This is a fun little game, but probably more for shorter bits of gameplay. Instead of... Uh, uh, it can't... I do remember getting frustrated at some parts. But it might have just been me being bullheaded in my approach. Yeah, I, I just don't feel for this game. You've earned my attention. Well done, it's now time I tested you. The conceited man believes he is safe in his temple, surrounded by a henchman enveloped by uh, a fort of his own design. Your task is to show him that he is never beyond my reach. You will find a blade at the entrance to the temple. Make him feel it. No other method will satisfy me. Now go. Yeah, just because people can't die, it doesn't mean that, well, can't feel pain. Okay, how... Do, do we have 67 grenades? Yes, we... <laughs> how many... How big are our freaking pockets? And see, choices. You can approach it situations in different ways. Sometimes you have to fight. Sometimes you can find a way to sneak around. You can use your sword to kill enemies quietly. You... Been spotted by someone... Let's try and be a bit sneaky. No need to be constantly in battle. Okay, looks like vision is 360 degrees within a radius. And they shot their friends. And I was pressing the wrong button there. I was trying to uncrouch in the case of friendly fire. Okay, there probably is an achievement for that, but I've probably gotten that long ago already. And yeah, little si little silhouette that shows where you were last seen. Let's see. <laughs> Prove your skill to Nubaba, by infiltrating a temple and assassinating a target with a sword. He's under heavy guard in the restricted area. Okay. Some missions require you to be stealthy and stab the target. Don't get spotted. Okay. Uh, we don't have... Yep, yep. There we go. One weapon. Okay. You can quietly kill enemies, just make sure no one sees you. Okay. And because they will revive after a short amount of time, we do need to move on. What just happened? Basically, oh. teleporting from door to door. Also, what's with that body walk? I thought you did some glitching in reality through the stairs. Okay, seriously, why does everyone just run like that? Okay, that is, a, that is rather abrupt, I will fully admit to that. There you go. See uh, to crouch okay, and hide. Everyone, uh, I realize another thing I don't like about this game. That is? It hurts my eyes. Yeah, it, it is very high on contrasting colors. Yeah, I feel like it's, a sim it's giving the similar effect uh, like the casino levels on Sonic do does. Like some bright levels I have been able to handle in games, but most of those times they're usually mm. only for a moment. Was this game's... Uh, <laughs> I went this completely wrong be way. Oh, this. Yeah, like I said for the third time, <laughs> Mirror's Edge meets Hitman. Uh, no, I certainly don't want to see Mirror's Edge. Nah, uh, it's not it as much eyes. with this. Okay. There we go. And then we just GTFO. <laughs> I hope I expected you to miss. 
It wouldn't be too on the too uncommon for me for stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. Fine work. That glimmer of uh, promise I saw in you was no hallucination. Quite a relief at my age. Uh, so what's with the 3D glasses? I oh, know that's red and blue. A driver is en route to collect you. Get into the car. Just zoom around. And another <laughs> dust bit. <laughs> Damn, I would just like to say what an on. Hush. Hello, assassin. I expect your noisy friend has told you the little he knows of me. The truth is that I am a conduit of information. Nothing escapes my notice. There's a great deal of money to be made in your new career if you have access to the work that pays. I control that access. As your reputation increases, I will be able to provide you with higher tier contracts. The more you work, the more I can help. Yeah, the more I can work for you. That is all. Allow my chauffeur to return you to the city center. As well, please. If there's anything you can tell us about the murder, does this one ever stop? <laughs> The man you're looking for is more dangerous than you realize. But I can tell you when someone uh, dig, uh, I can uh, tell when someone will keep digging. Very well. We are a potential ally on, on this trail. They have taken a contract connected to, to their search. Completing our contract first will draw them out, but be warned, they won't appreciate being beaten to the punch. Okay. So uh... competing with another assassin for that. But it, yeah, there's the merchant. <laughs> Let's see, rifle ammo special, grenade, golf club, bee shooter. Let's see, just about qualifies as a pistol. It isn't actually that much better than the basic pistol. It's all, it's also cheaper. Shot pistol. It owned this already. <laughs> Why aim? Bad shot pistols, spread them wide. And then a lot more and bananas. Okay, I don't think I've ever used those. <laughs> I can see what uh, the result would likely be. <laughs> okay. But call it early on this one. Yeah, let's for I'm not feeling this one on my eyes, I get annoyed. <laughs> Coat Deckard. <laughs> really? Okay. <clears throat> so maybe more a uh, solo thing for YouTube, but for now a no. Yeah, sorry. Okay, and then likely last but not least, since we have about 20 minutes to go. There we go. Torchlights. Okay. Another, well, Diablo-like. So let's see, we have the Destroyer, we have the Vanquisher, who is... Basically the Huntress, expert marksman and uses traps to confuse and debilitate her foes. And then the Alchemist, channels the powers of Ember to attack from afar and summon minions to his sides. Well, I guess we know which one we need to go for, huh? You mean because you're an actual Alchemist in real life? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, there we go. To clarify, people, Chemist and Alchemist are the same, just... Alchemists rebranded themselves to Shemists. My art. For my kind, Torchlight is a beacon, a place of power, the largest cache of Ember ever found. I had heard nothing of the troubles afflicting that place. I came only to serve my own ends, but I was lost as soon as I set foot in Torchlight. The evil gathering there swallowed me, and I may never break free of it entirely. The mines are dark, and below that, the blackness is impossible to describe. There is power beyond imagining, but the price is so very high. Let's see. Welcome to the town of Torchlight. Explore the area by left-clicking to move around. So visit the denizens of the shop, uh, yeah, of the town of the shop, or find quests to perform. When you are ready, enter the mines to begin your journey. And yeah, very much like Titan Quest, but a lot more <clears throat> concentrated since, well, we'll be going back to town constantly instead of moving around from place to place. Dang. 
Let's see, these monster attacks are disrupting my work. I am Vastman, the scholar of Ember. I traveled to Torch Light to study the vast supply of Ember below, but these creatures make it impossible to obtain the samples I need. Perhaps you have more courage, uh, courage than these miners. If you brave the tunnels and bring me a sample of gleaming ember, I will reward you well. It should not be difficult. Look for the ember on the first floor of the mine. Hello, friend. Let's see. I gotta concentrate with these monsters about. If you have time to, uh, if you have items to combine, you will have to come back another time. <laughs> uh, yeah, different say, different merchants that we don't have access to at the moment. But let's see. Let's just head towards the... Okay. Let's just head towards the mine, then. Brink, over here. I can't hold them back much longer. All right, Syl. Rest here a while. I'm going to head to finish the job. It's no wonder Master Ulrich sent for my help. The Ember Mines are overrun with these creatures. His letter was urgent, but I had no idea how dire things had become. I am Syl, and that was my companion, Brink. We've only just arrived in Torchlight, and it looks like we're going to need some help. You look capable, and I can pay you well. Please, catch up to Brink before he gets himself killed. You have begun a new quest. Always nice to see when I uh, arrived uh, in Torchlight and began my exploration of the tunnels below. These mines are vast and aglow with ember. I've never seen so rich a vein. Miners labor to extract it and take no heed of my warnings. I cannot blame them. I too could not resist the pull of ember. This ember is the same as that which afflicts me. The taint within it resonates with the corruption in my bones. I can feel it so clearly now. Blight springs from the depths and flows up through the veins. To purge myself of this evil, I must find the source. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Okay, as I was going to say, nice to see the adventurer that, well, doesn't dis immediately dismiss a less experienced uh, colleague. Okay. And, yeah. This game is, of course, going to be a lot more, uh, well, very similar to others of its kind. Though this game and its sequel, Torchlight 2, were pretty well considered, uh, yeah, pretty well uh, received. Uh, but that's Torchlight 3 is where the developers messed up, because I believe it was originally supposed to be an MMO, but yeah, then it got. Yeah, I I, f I forget actually what it got turned into, but the fans were not happy with it. Yeah, I'm sure. I only looked into it years ago when I did not feel interested in it. Uh, I feel like, it, like it almost felt like a MOBA game. Could be. Uh, let's see. We shall we say this? If we went from uh, the, the this one and the prequel to this one, or like this, then suddenly the game it, it suddenly it's a MOBA game. Then, yeah, then everyone should be angry, but well, that's quite the shift. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just keep on moving. No, do again. You can do a new style of gaming as long as you do it as an experiment or as a clear spin off. Like, again, Air of the Mighty Magic was, was a dungeon crawl game in the beginning. Then they made a, a spin-off, which was the most strategy game that ended up becoming more popular than the main franchise. Yeah. <laughs> and then they, they, well, then there were even more spin-offs made, like uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Yep, yeah, that, that one actually is uh, the first one of the entire new brand and world they were planning to start in. 
triggered a trap. Yep. Okay. Got another explosive barrel. I said nope. I do like the, this art style and it definitely has aged well, this art yeah. style. There we go. It, actually it's probably why many games kinda sometimes look like almost a Warcraft 3 game. Because it's an art style that aged well. Yeah. Let's see, magic weapons requirement, you know, expertise, mage equipment requirements minus one, plus four weapon damage, so let's pick that. And then, of course, we have our stats over here. <clears throat> uh, let's wait with that until we actually have some equipment that we can, well, not equip, which we have none at the moment. Hmm? Open your inventory. Equipment, spells, fish! Yeah. <laughs> That's also something in a low. Watch out for any open shafts. Critters have been lurking down them and leaping out at uh, unsuspecting miners. Gives me the shivers. The fact that you're even here and not dead <laughs> is already a miracle on its own, considering what we just fought through. Here's a miner. Don't underestimate miners. Uh, let's see. Two armor, three armor, that can we can sell that. Okay. And yeah, the, the thing with these games is that it always it starts off really low and such, but at towards the middle and end is where things really start to escalate <clears throat> with things you can do and the amount of damage you can deal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Of course, we have some abilities that we can use already. Ember bolts. Two bolts of ember energy seek out their targets. Uh, 10 to 14 poison and a bit of knockback. Okay. Oop. And there was something undead lurking in that. Okay. So far, it's so easy. Okay. So, of course, the mage class is supposed to stay back. <clears throat> but since we're on easy, it's easy enough to just well, beat the absolute hell out of them. Help! <laughs> Choose! This looks like the exact the same, the exact same as the start of the previous level. I forget if these if these are all pre-made or partially randomized. Yeah, some let do pre-made, but some are partially randomized. Oop. Your mana is low. Da -da -da, drink your mana potion and crits. Okay. Let's keep going for now. Okay. Okay. This game I can feel like might be maybe a yes. Okay. Again, depending how long this game is. Yeah. Our pet also has an inventory, and let me just do a quick. Oh, that has a socket, so let's take that instead. And there. Okay, with shift we can move it over. It's less I armor. I bloody but... knew it. <laughs> and then your pet has departed. We can send our pet off to go sell it. You named your pet after your cat. Yeah. What else? <laughs> oh, I should have known. <laughs> like you didn't notice right away. Your pet. I only noticed once the menu came up there. <laughs> I was wondering, I was trying to ask you if you were planning to name it Inky. <laughs> Apparently, you had already done so. Yep. Okay, magical item. It is unidentified, which means that its magic power is undiscovered. Identified by right clicking with an identify scroll. There and there. Let's see, two armor. But two plus two dexterity. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, this, this is basically identical to the previous bits. Okay, oh, here's where it diverges. Okay. So yeah, maybe it is random, partially randomized, maybe not. Yeah, with the moderation to make sure you don't have a, you know, broken map. Let's see. Uh, where was skill points again? Let's see, lore. Nether Imp. Summons a maximum of one Nether Imp uh, from the dormant en energies of corpses. Let's grab that. And okay, that's now been put there. Can okay, put that there. Put the bolt there. And let's see, Ember Shock armor expertise. Okay. Again, let's try and save. Yep. Ow. Let's try and save most of the attribute points for when we. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay, where's the end? Uh, you want to do it against the corpse? Okay. My okay. I thought it would just be a normal summon stuff. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we do need a corpse to summon. Okay, so. Sort of like a neck, sort of like a necromancer. Okay. It, it did say it needed the energy from a corpse. Yeah, I thought I thought it was more like flavor text than anything else. Yeah, though I feel like it's. Mm. I don't think it's like a necromancer. You just use the a magic energy from the corpse to summon it. Because yeah. you use this corpse as a sacrifice to summon a demon. Yeah. Okay. This does mean one thing, however. Hmm. We need to burn you at stake. <laughs> now, I, I prefer my stakes uh, medium rare. A trap has been sprung. <laughs> Is not going to comment. <laughs> There's the comment. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, knocks back foes, knock back immune. Yeah, you can you can read some little bits about enemies from their description when you hover over them. Hello there. And a boss, Halen the Cruel. Who is okay? Who was self healing? Okay, give me all of that. Yeah, and there was someone uh, nearby. Yep. With exclamation. Thank you. I thought I was in over my head again. Well, she's right. These monsters are getting stronger, and I could use your help. I'm going after the fiend that was attacking Sill on the bridge. Will you join me? Sure. And now we have a companion. Though I believe uh, companions like this are mostly temporary, unless I've uh, overlooked something during my... Not playthrough, but the last time I played this game. Since I've never gotten to the end, actually. Since, well, one of the effects of uh, dungeon crawlers like this is that they can take freaking for freaking ever. Yeah... Again, I'm not against streaming these. No, but the benefit with these kind of games is you can grind off screen on them quite easily. Yeah, just work through uh, lower uh, lower levels or rather higher levels since we're going down. Yeah. And one, two. Uh, I can't do that. I can't uh, do that. Okay. Let's see. 53 damage per second. Yeah, this is what I would have liked to see with Titan Quest. It's a DPS counter. And let's see. Buckled Mantle of Retribution plus one fire and ice resistance. Four damage reflected. Requires defense seven. So one, two. I think DPS counter became a thing when this game released. Could be. But I don't think DPS counter was a thing when Titan Quest originally released. 
Yeah, it is. It was an anniversary edition, though, so maybe it. I don't know when that exactly got released. Then I'm presuming at like when it was ten years old or such. Yeah, and it also shows they could not edit it due to they probably didn't realize it was a thing or. It was uh, somebody could not add in without uh, breaking something. Could be. There's probably mods that might actually do that, though. Yeah, likely. I do not really care about DPS counters. Yeah, it does make it easier to tell what is better and such. Leather vest. I, I usually try the weapon out to see if it, how well it works. I feel like I don't do well with it. I just switch it to what I feel like it works better. You know, old school feel. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It. What was that? Mysterious chest piece. Okay. Talent 15 armor. Okay, but requires 14 defense. Do we actually have enough points for that? Uh, let's see. Where does it actually say how many we have left? Up there. Okay, so we can put half of the points that we have in that. Okay, um, and let's put some in magic, just to put that up some. Let's see. Ember Shock, a gauntlet overload, delivers a devastating charge to a single target. Power diffuses into nearby foes for lesser damage, so basically chain lightning. Okay. Uh, let's move the Imp Summon all the way over there, since we don't really need to have that active. We don't really need to have that at easy access. Okay. Right. Let's find a group that to use that on. Is that supposed to be ranged or melee? Can I go on the other games have been saying maybe yes on so far? Or the Diablo likes. Yeah, and it is a melee attack. Or someone? Hmm. Okay, typically you would expect more ranged attacks from a mage. Well, he is an alchemist, so. True. Okay, and we're already getting decked out quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh, equip that before I forget. Okay. And yeah, with games like this, it's always a case of uh, <laughs> trying to find better equipment. <clears throat> okay. And yep, Path of Exile is basically this game but an MMO, and that has been going for quite a long time now. Yeah, though I feel like I think I heard has been having a lot of drama. Hmm. Something about the devs angering uh, their player base as such. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> that's basically the same as saying that water is wet. Yeah, and I feel like there was a to talk about they're doing a sequel Path of Exile 2 or something that they did not go well either. Mm. It's been a while since I heard anything about them. Okay. Shrine of Healing, now that we need it. Well, the Barcorlin Mage. Okay, another Rock Troll. Yeah, yeah, the main troll. <laughs> yeah, but it, we didn't need no Gimli to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. One of the main, but one of the main, not really issues, but one of the main things with games like these is it can get rather samey over time. Like, th these games are grindy by design. Yeah, those are just not a bad thing in BTs. Uh, like, 
It depends on mindset. Yeah. Like, if you just wanna play a game uh, and feel a bit powerful without too much thinking, just almost. Like, not completely similar, but no, you know, something similar. You, you probably still want some tactics for this, but. Uh, how to say. You get what I'm trying to me say here? Yeah, dungeon crawl and chill. Yes, a shield. A po uh, yeah, a, a, a shield relax game. <laughs> it's my problem. You say, yeah, a relax game. Okay, inventory is full. Let's identify some stuff then. Let's see, copper ring. We can equip that. Anything that's better than anything we have at the moment. Let's see, 40 damage per second. <laughs> Average attack speed. Hmm. Let's see. That is not better. Okay. Yep. Now we're there. We move all of that over to our pets' inventory. And then we can send them off to Your sell it. Pet has departed. That, I would say, is unique. I've never seen a Diablo like with that kind of function. It is not that too unique. I have seen some other games that use that. I'm drawing a blank on their name. Uh, but yeah, it is something you don't see too often. It's 51 health. Yeah, especially with, with a Diablo like game. Mm -hmm. has I do think the drawback is that we get less per item, but overall, I think it's generally worth it to just keep going. It's a because... good way to sell away young items. Yeah. This, typically, this mean can... people would just leave those behind, anyways. Yeah, so instead you send them to quickly sell off uh, the less valuable ones, then you keep the valuable ones on you till you get to the, the city to sell. Hmm. I, I, I'm not entirely certain if it does get you less money for it or not, but oh well. Yeah, you can always uh, figure that out. Uh, uh, of course, a mimic. Yep. You've just, we already found something with sockets on them. If you get to the turret, simply install the gemstone by dropping it into the item. Oh, no, we found a gem to socket into something. Okay. Drink. A pistol. Okay. I would have liked it if this was more a toggle than an actual uh, hold the button down. But that's just a minor thing. Let's see. Identify. Yep. Yeah, that's more stuff. Okay. <laughs> Let's equip that pistol. It deals almost as, as much damage. Same attack speeds. It well, isn't as... That. Yeah. And, well, we can attack from range now. <laughs> yeah, if you get a pistol or a wand? Has been sprung. Yeah, that, that would probably be a good combo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we should double check. We've, uh, we've hit our two hour mark. Uh, so I think we can call it. A, and that's the, that was the timer going for this game specifically going off. Uh, yeah, this one has. Uh, this, I'd say this one has about the same amount of chance as Titan Quests. Yeah, like, both we could grind off screen if need to. But they're usually not too, too hard, usually. Yeah. But it can be lengthy. <laughs> Kill 5,000 monsters, okay. Uh, right. uh, exit the title. And, hmm, I don't think, I didn't see anything about multiplayer with this game, I think. But if that were possible, 
Mm. Yeah, m multiplayer, of course, is going to add a lot of extra chance to everything. Uh, Titan Quest definitely has that, but this one doesn't, I think. I'll have to double check that. I didn't see any options for it. Maybe it can be done with mods or so. But yeah, for now, let's exit. Okay. These two were nose right away. Yep. Okay, Tokyo 42 as well with that. Yep. Okay, that leaves Titan Quest and Torchlight as a probable yes. Uh, especially yeah, if we can get multiplayer done for Titan Quest. Yeah, like the, but I would say potential yes. Like a, bit, a little bit of investigation we've been to check with them to see how long they are on average and all that. Yeah, because these games can go on for quite a while. <laughs> oh yeah. And yeah, for Titan Quest, I'm definitely going to see if anyone else has that for well multiplayer shenaniganery. And if not, then if it goes on sale, I can just buy it for them. And yeah, that means that next week we will be starting with Trailmakers, Tribes of Asgard, and Troubleshooter you know, <clears throat> Abandoned Children. Okay. Oh, but for dear. now then, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me change the screen share from the preview to the browser. And let's see, not too many people online, as is usual at this time. Uh, the primed. <laughs> we have Dr. Misunderstood with Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. Uh, Hisaya Razir is playing The Legend of Zelda Overclock Seasons. Rainia is playing Stellaris. Moonrise is playing Jackbox. And last but not least, uh, not, not, not last, uh, Kanai is playing Barony. And then we have Horatius the Dwarf. Uh, who is just chatting, titled Let's Talk About Video Games Today, and Shrouded, and something else. Uh, triple checking that the place is muted, so we can take a peek. I'm presuming he's going to play those games later, and is just, yeah, chatting at the moment. Yep. Okay. Any of those, or shall we go raid someone new? Hmm... Has been one since we read K Kai and Hisaya. Okay. Uh Kai then, because Barony can be quite fun, and yes, they are playing it multiplayer. <laughs> as it should. <laughs> oh, that's why I recognize the name. Yep. Okay. Kai then? Yeah, let's go let's raid them. Yeah, going from one dungeon crawler to another one. Only this one is in first person <laughs> and the roguelites. Okay. Copy name to our place, slash raid and paste. But before we start it, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. And do we have any other one lurking? Nope. Uh, well, uh, Rohan? <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> this is Rohan, uh, Rayhan. Thank you for watching as well. Sorry for forgetting you for a second there. <laughs> and thank you as always to Kier. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for watching here on Twitch or on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Later today... Mm, mm, yeah, 50-50 on if we do... Uh, we couldn't do an evening stream yesterday because the roleplay thing... Well, what was planned fell through, but then a social thing was uh, planned in afterwards, but... Uh, Let's just say that the attendance would have been was a bit disappointing, so it would have been better if I'd gone streaming. Uh, but oh. yeah, 50-50 uh, chance between uh, Partisans 1941 or <clears throat> Heart, uh, Heart Space Shipbreaker. You know what it is, means people? Coin flip! <laughs> okay, which, which Shipbreaker... Yeah. Okay, I really should put these coins that I keep on my desk away, or at least in something a bit more stable than just a pile. Yeah, oh, uh, actually, hmm? really just be careful when you flip it and don't... Like, we don't want you to lose uh, an, the other eye to the same accident as the other one. Okay, then. Uh, <clears throat> head for Shipbreaker, then. Oh, uh, yes, that makes sense, but it's usually the... 
Uh, I almost went a bit more, but yeah, but usually the head you break first when you attack someone, but no, 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 that's not true. But Okay, poisoning uh, it away from the computer true. and everything. Wait, what? And ah. it's face, so partisans then. Uh, I just realized, like you just said, you use your head when you break something. Okay. I could have just gone with that. So in about two hours and 50 minutes, if nothing gets in the way, we will be starting with a new side quest game, Partisans 1941. A real-time tactics game similar to, uh, well, <laughs> Shadow Tactics and Commandos. Oh, and this could be interesting. I, I wouldn't be against doing multiple uh, RTT games in a row for side quests. Like the, after Partisans, we move on to Shadow Tactics because that is really high praised. And maybe I'll get that pirate version in the meantime. I would not be against it. Okay, then we we basically have like a <laughs> real-time tactics uh, Saturday evening <laughs> or such. <clears throat> okay. And um, yeah, last thing. Since we're getting to the end of Retribution, finally, after getting through five of the six campaigns, and the, the Chaos campaign I'm presuming will also take about three streams, that means that, yeah, next in about a month or so, we'll be moving on to the next game with that as well. Depending on if we don't do extra streams and such. And I've already started up a bit of a poll for the game to follow it on uh, the Discord. And, and yeah, I, I've, I've removed Nox from the running because of some stuff I've heard about the end game of that. That would be really annoying. The, the version I'd be you know, that I've gotten my hands on is a fan modded uh, one to make it more compatible with stuff but i don't know if they change things up to make stuff like that well more tolerable or not so i'll have to look into that to maybe put it into the running again for next time all right makes sense <clears throat> uh yeah for now then let's finally get that raid started there oh they've got the raid lock on uh hisaya then uh, uh his side will be then. Okay. Hainai typically doesn't have the raids block on, so it must have been something going Wait. on lately. But haven't I had that sometime? Yeah, but it's typically, uh, well, not with K9, I think, but with other some other creators. But uh, could be could be that they've been getting harassed or something lately, which would be a good reason to put uh, the raid block on. Hmm. Oh uh, well. Let's see, Hisiris here. Okay, we can raid them. So, yeah. Again, if nothing gets in the way, Partisans 1941 in about two and a half hours. But until then, thank you all again for watching, and until next time. Uh, uh, thank, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. I messed up my Be outro. Safe, everyone. <laughs> Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. And keep to the torchlights. Tattoo. <laughs>